white evangelical Christians also stoke a steady diet of fear and anxiety into their congregations every Sunday morning, radicalizing them into terrified white nationalists who are convinced they are under siege. Then the internet provides all kind of reinforcement for those for these fears. So that you people are terrified into mental instability and you end up with lone wolf gunmen motivated to action by going through the internet, being stoked by fear. White nationalist groups feed off this fear and use it to recruit and radicalize people in the ticking time bombs. This is the same fear that caused 84 year old white man to shoot Ralph Yarl, a 16 year old black boy in the head for ringing his doorbell while seeking help. Yeah. This is the same fear that caused an 81 year old white man to shoot dead Lolita Hall, a 61 year old black female Uber driver sent to his address to pick up a package. This same fear caused a 60 year old white woman to shoot and kill a G.K. Owens, a black mother of four, to shoot her through the door because she was afraid after calling the G.K.'s children stupid little niggas. Mm -hmm. There are many, many instances every day of white people overreacting and endangering the lives of people of color because they have been driven insane by the irresponsible stoking of fear throughout their communities. Donald Trump may be laughed at in some places, but in many other places, his message was received. And they were locking their doors and checking on their pets. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. For the people of the land are terrified of us. So